technologies affect one in five Australians, costing the economy $30 billion a year. They can also be deadly, especially in the case of food allergies. Australia has one of the highest incidences of food allergy in the world. Hospital admissions for severe allergic reaction, known as anaphylaxis, have doubled over the past decade. Allergy and immunology specialist Dr Richard Lowe says the National Allergy Strategy is the first but vital step in managing a disease that will affect almost 8 million Australians by 2050. Part of the National Allergy Strategy is to develop resources for health professionals as well as the community so that they have the most up-to-date information to help them uh, reduce uh, the food allergies uh, problem. Theresa Lamb is a Melbourne mother of four. In 2012, her two daughters suffered a severe reaction to milk. Penelope died. She was eight years old. At the time, I assumed it was going to be a very mild reaction. She had eaten such a tiny bite. So I gave her some antihistamine, and then we sat down for dinner. She sat opposite me. She started to dance with her throat. Very quickly after that, she collapsed two EpiPens, CPR, the ambulance was called. When they took her to hospital, they couldn't, they couldn't revive Penelope, but... <sighs> they just, that was all right. Since 2005, coronial inquests have been held into six deaths from food allergies. The true number of fatalities, however, is much higher, according to Maria Said, who believes deaths from food allergies are hugely underreported in Australia because we don't have a system for mandatory reporting of anaphylaxis. Maria Said from Allergy and Anaphylaxis Australia believes a national allergy strategy will streamline treatment and help prevent fatalities. I have no doubt in my mind that if the people who have died from allergic disease had optimal care that could have potentially have prevented their loss of life. Maria Newen Emmett for Reportage Online.